Staffing shortage at Durham's 911 center means some calls are being answered in Raleigh. It's a story we've been investigating for more than a month now. And new tonight, CBS 17's Amy Cutler obtained radio traffic for two 911 calls that were answered in Raleigh. And Amy, you played those calls for city leaders. What did they have to say? Well, Maria, city leaders are coming to the defense of the 911 call center here behind us and its director. But the confusion and frustration in the radio traffic from those two 911 calls is clear. Did you get a parking number yet? I'm working on it. It came from Raleigh. The call came in the day after Christmas. Durham first responders dispatched to a person asking for medical help. We'll circle the complex again uh, and wait until we can hear back. They're left hoping someone might come out and flag them down. I tried that caller multiple times and it rings and goes to voicemail. Then there's a call that came in December 11th. Do you have a better location for the patient? This call came from Raleigh and they gave us the address of Last month, Durham's 911 call center experienced a COVID outbreak. And to help, Raleigh Center started answering some of their calls. That remains the case. We're walking around the building right now to see if we see anything. The Durham Firefighters Association and its police association tell me it's a problem that they receive wrong addresses or incomplete information and that it's leading to delays in their response times. I took those concerns to the mayor. What would your message be to those firefighters and police officers? I would like to know first the extent of which is happening. I mean, you know, if it happens, if it's happening a lot, it's a big problem. I haven't heard that. The city says only 11% of all calls coming into Durham are answered in Raleigh, and they tell me it hasn't impacted response times. Our 911 service is done very well. I played one of their calls for city councilman Mark Anthony Middleton. It's incredibly impressive to hear professionals so committed to saving lives that even with spotty information, they are banging their heads against the wall figuratively to find out if anyone needs help. Now, I've reached out to the city and county trying to verify that, in fact, the response times have not changed since Raleigh started taking some of Durham's calls. I haven't heard back. I will keep you posted when I do. Durham, the city could not tell me tonight how much longer they would require Raleigh's help. Live in Durham, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.